Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to creatively use Divi's toggle module to showcase your pricing plans. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do here is to create a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages and then click on add new, give our page a title and click on use Divi Builder. So we're going to start from building from scratch. So I'm going to select build from scratch. And then the next stage is just to close this and then come over here to your section settings. Next, we're going to add some padding to the top and the bottom. So I'm going to click here on design, spacing, and I'm going to add a padding of 160 pixels, both to the top and the bottom, and then save. So the next thing we need to do now is to go to the column structure. So I'm going to come over here, click this plus button, and insert a single column. And we're going to start off by adding a text module. So I'm going to search for it. Select it, and we're going to give this a title of pricing plans and give this a heading two. So I'm going to come over here to the top after highlighting it, click the drop down and give this a heading two. Next, we're going to select our font. So we're going to come over here to the design tab, click on heading text. And remember, we set this to heading two. So I'm going to come over here and make sure I'm on the heading two tab. And then we're going to add a font. So the font we're going to use here is called Didact Gothic. Search for it and select it. Now over here on the alignment, we're going to center this. Our font weight is fine as regular. And for our text color, we're going to set this to black. And the size is going to be 40 pixels. And for the letter spacing, we're going to set this to minus one because we want our text to be much closer together. Okay, so that's looking much better. So we're all done here. Let's go ahead and save. And then the next thing we're going to do here is to add a divider module. So I'm going to click this plus button, search for divider. I'm going to select it. And make sure show divider is set to yes, because we ideally we would like this line to be there. It's part of our design. Now let's head over to the color. So I'm going to click here on design color. We're going to set this to black so that it matches with our title here. Now let's go to sizing because this is where we can use this to customize the width of our divider line. So here we're going to set the width to 39% and then we're going to center it. Now, so when we add our pricing tables here, we want to make sure that we have enough space between this divider line and our pricing tables. And to ensure that, we want to come over here to spacing and add a bottom margin of 50 pixels. I know we can't see it right now, but you will notice it when we start adding all our other elements. So for now, we're going to go ahead and save, and then we're going to add our second row. So I'm going to come over here, click this plus button. Now, this time, we're going to have three equal columns. I'm going to select that. Right, so let's start stylizing this now. So I'm going to close this for now. We're going to come over here to our row settings, click on background, and we're going to start off with our column one gradient. So I'm going to come over here, click the gradient tab, click this plus button, and then we're going to add our first color. And by the way, if you want to use the same colors as I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link in the comments box so you can go ahead and see these settings. So I'm going to add my first color, and then I'm going to come over here to my second color, so this color here is going to be transparent. So I'm going to drag the slider down a little bit until I start getting these RGBA values. And then I'm going to highlight that and then replace it with my color. Okay, so next I'm going to come over here and choose my gradient type. By default, it's set to linear. So I'm going to change this to radial. And then for the direction, I'm going to set this to bottom right. Now for our design to show, we need to adjust our start and end position. And we're going to set this at 30% uh, and 30% for the end position. And now you can see we have this quarter of a circle. Now let's move on to column two gradients. So I'm going to click here on um, column two, uh, choose the second tab, click this plus button. And then as we did before, I'm going to add my first color. So I'm going to click here to select my color, paste it, go to my second color. And again, this as before, it's going to be an RGBA value. So I'm going to paste my values between the brackets. And again, our style here is going to be radial. Now this time for the direction, it's going to be set to top right. And then for the start and end position, we're going to set this to 40. Now let's move over to our third uh, background. So I'm going to click here on this on the gradient tab, click the plus button, add my first color, come over here to my second color. It's going to be full transparency here. So I'm going to drag the slider all the way down like that. Change our gradient type from linear to radio. Our position needs to be bottom. 
And our start and end position needs to be set to 30% on both the start and the end. So now that we've added all our styles to our backgrounds, let's head over here now to the design tab because we need to adjust our width. So we're gonna click here on sizing and we're gonna start off by making this roll full width. And then we're gonna come over here to custom gutter width. Now the custom gutter width is the space between these columns. So by default, it's set to three. So we need to set this to two, just reducing that space between those columns. So for now, we're gonna close this. The next stage now is to add our toggle module. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button, search for toggle. I'm gonna select it. So what we need to do here is to paste some of this content on our text tab over here on the content. So this information here can be found on our post. So just head over to the post and copy it from there. Next, we're gonna give this a title. So I'm gonna come over here to the top and uh, just call this basic. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is to set our state. So you can either choose to have this open or close. So if I choose open, you can see now it's showing all the information. Next, let's add our background color. So I'm gonna come over here to background. And this time we're just gonna add white as our background color. Next, let's set our icon uh, color. So I'm just gonna come over here, just hover over it and click on this print brush tool like that. And we can give this black. Next, we're gonna come over here to toggle. So we're gonna start off here with open, toggle background color, and we're gonna give this a transparency color like that. And you can see here, as soon as I've done that, that uh, background is now showing like that. Now let's go to our title text settings. So I'm gonna come over here and again, I'm gonna highlight on this area and click on the paintbrush tool and this will take me directly to my title text settings. So I'm gonna start off by adding my font here and you're gonna go with the Didact Gothic as we used here in the top. Next, we are going to make this bold. Click here on this drop down, set it to bold. Set the text color to black. And now it's time to add our sizes. So we'll start off by adding 3.1 VW. So now you can see it's nice and big, but the best thing to do here is to make sure you set your sizes for the tablet and the phone. So I'm gonna come back over here, hover over this uh, title text size, click on this little icon, click on the tablet, and we're gonna set this to 60 pixels. And on the phone, we're gonna set this to 40 pixels. Okay, so now that looks okay on all devices. Back here on my desktop tab, now let's go to the body settings. So I'm gonna come again here, click on this little brush tool. So we're gonna set our font, detect Gothic. So our text alignment, we're gonna set it to left and the color is going to be black. And for the size, as you can see right now, it's a bit too small. So let's set this to about 18 pixels. And we need to make sure as well that the sizes between these sentences are also easy to read. So we're gonna set the line height to 1.5. So that's much better. But now we're gonna go ahead and save. Now this design here is going to be pretty much the same design over here on the other two columns. So the quickest way to replicate this is by just copying it and pasting it over here. So I'm using a command, which is a shortcut and it's gonna be command C to copy. If you're on a PC, it's control C. And then over here, I'm gonna do the same. So now we have all our pricing tables. So what we need to do now is to change the headings. So this one here is, um, we can name this professional. And this one here can be enterprise. Now let's change the prices. So this one here can be 65, but of course you can change this to whatever price you want. And then over here, this is gonna be 99. Okay, so pretty much this is our design. So let's save and do a quick preview. So I'm gonna save this page, exit the visual builder. And this is what it looks like. And what we could also do here is we can set our state to be closed. So they will they can start off like this. But of course, that's your choice if you prefer to have it that way. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.